Okay, boys and girls, welcome back to round 10 of the, uh, of the Alfa Romeo F1 2022 playthrough. Remember, we have the mod for the 2023 grid where every driver is with their respective teams. We just got off of the Canadian Grand Prix uh, a couple of days ago where we had a an excellent, excellent, uh, shocking performance. So if you missed that episode, make sure you go back and take a look at that one um, on the channel um, so now we are p4 in the constructor standings jumping ferrari by three points and valtteri has moved up to p4 in the driver standings um, we did jump a whole bunch of guys but we're not too many points ahead of them so uh joke on you still p10 but he is well ahead of pierre gasly now and coming up on lance stroll so let's check our inbox real quick okay take a look at the car we have the um underfloor coming in 12 days so we're not going to get it in time for the before the race weekend though that we might be able to emergency manufacture it on the day of qualifying i should say um we do have some points to distribute joke on you if you can't see the defending stat down here he has 77 as his defending stat my big fat head is in the way i think we're gonna go to control or accuracy let's go reactions here let's work on this pace uh category tail does not have one how about our staff we do not have anything for our staff In the last episode we started the design center so um 77 days until that upgrade and because both guys did so well in the last race. We didn't come up with that much money, so we only have uh, a little under $9 million left to burn. We could go for the warehouse or no. I want to start doing the wind tunnel and CFT simulator first, so we're going to save a little bit of cash for that um, before we do that, boys and girls. 11 days without further ado. Let's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what? Um... Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, I think we had an incident. So, or I don't know if we did have an incident. We have the chassis coming in, right? No, just the suspension. Okay. Um, I th think Bottas had an incident that put a little bit of damage into the chassis. Can't remember now who it was or what happened. Um, no manufacturing capacity. Damn it. Okay. Maybe we do need to do the, uh, the, the um, f f uh, what do you call it? The factory so that we can do some more. Okay. Let's go ahead and start. Suspension is done. Good. Let's go and put that chassis manufacturing project in. Or front wing. Front wing manufacturing in. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so that is that. We are done. Suspension manufactured. Good. Let's go. Front wing is done. Oh, oh. ATR period starts. Okay, good. Um, ATR period starts today. Now, we can't... We can't do full engineers on that first project yet. We still have four days left on the under underfloor. But we can split up the engineers um, for what we have or, or what we need. So I'm going to cut for edit. I think we're just going to do front wing and rear wing. Yeah. Those are like front wing, rear wing, and underfloor are the only ones really worth doing. So I'm just going to take care of that off screen. Actually, we can only do one. That's right, because I forgot we can only do two projects at once, and we are still waiting for the underfloor. So I just went ahead and started the front wing, and then after the uh, race weekend, we will go ahead and start the rear wing, um, rear wing project. So um, that is it for now. Let's just go ahead and simulate here. All right, inbox, multi-car report, blah, 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 blah. Okay, performance targets. Now, qualifying position, P10, I think we can do that. Reach Q3, I think we can do that. And I think we can do that with both drivers. So let's go and do that. I think we can do this with both drivers as well. Uh, 
let's do that okay and then fastest lap i don't think we're gonna be able to get fastest lap so let's just go ahead and do that nothing else left to do boys and girls let me just double check to make sure we don't have any points to distribute that was 11 days uh, after all okay we'll start the race weekend i will take care of practice i will see you guys for the start of quali all right guys we are at the end of fp3 p6 and p10 we actually um emergency manufactured the underfloor and put that on there so um valtteri is at 92 percent not bad not bad oh damn it okay i don't there's still so much blue on both sides of everything that i'm not gonna bother Let's try that. Um, and 97% is good enough. I think I'm not going to try. Although, actually, that will probably do it. So let's get the new parts on here. I don't know if maybe I want to put a new gearbox on both of these cars. As you see, the gearbox is already at 68%. We're going to end up buying a new one anyway. We're already at race number 10. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put the new gearbox on. Might as well put the new engine on. No, the engine should still last for a little bit. So we'll do the same thing here. Put the 72% engine on. We'll put the 93% ERS on. And then we'll give him a new gearbox as well. So, uh, nothing left to do. Uh, start qualifying. And manage Q1. I think we should still both be able to make it into Q3 pretty easily Radio here. Radio All right, let's go. Let's go, boys. Waiting until the 10 minute mark, like we normally do. There we go. Coming around. We're stepping on a quick lap. Let's go after Sergeant here. Uh, Hulkenberg on a fast lap. Hopefully we'll catch up to Hulkenberg on a straight or something. Nope. He held up Bottas a little bit. Okay. We'll take a look at the car analysis after the race. Joe P5, Bottas P8. I think we might be good here. I think we might be good. Anybody going to pass us? Um, Hamilton will and Russell maybe. So I think we're good. I'm going to leave them in the pit lane for the second run here, I think. And we should still make it into Q2. I hope. Cross your fingers. Come on, come on, come on. And we do. P8 and P10. Sergeant Albin, no surprise there. Hulkenberg, Sonoda, and K-Mag. DeVries making it into Q2. All right, so it'll be dry. 93, is that better than 95? No, it's not. Damn it. We should have left it there. His is still 97. I could have swore we did something with it, but I guess not. Okay. Uh, scrub set. Scrub set. Let's go into Q2. Yes, manage qualifying too. Ready to check, Jeff, can you hear me? Ready to check. All right. Once again, we will wait until 10 minutes left. Not too many people out right now. Oh, here comes Verstappen. Let's go ahead and get out there with Verstappen and see if we can get a bit of a slipstream off of him. We probably won't, but let's try anyway. Yep, he's already dropping us. Where are we? P3 and P5. Well, the Ferrari still have to go. They'll most likely beat us. No, they don't. Leclerc had a bit of an issue on his lap. Yeah, Leclerc did have an issue in Q, his Q2 run. Final corner, too, looks like, I think. 
I think it was anyway. I couldn't tell. All right, let's go. P5 and P7 right now. Are we close to being faster than Ferraris? Ah, oh, man, Bottas doesn't have a slipstream. He is the, the higher of our two drivers, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Joe is dropping out of slipstream range to Perez as well. Where did we finish? Still managed to finish. Oh, okay. P5 and P9. Good. All right. So it looks like we'll be making uh, a good chunk of our money in sponsorship um, sponsorship bonuses. Will the race we be using soft tires? Let's try to save a set of softs for the race anyway. Um, and okay, so we'll put them out on that set that we just used. Even though I don't think we're going to qualify much higher than like Radio check. 8 and 9 anyway. Radio check. Everybody's coming out. Shoot. Uh, we're too far back. That's fine. At least we're not going to be... Um, off schedule with the rest of the drivers here. Watch for Staff and just close up on Joe. Where are we? Oh, P5 and P9. Not bad. Not bad, Valtteri. Brand new sets. Onto the car. And let's go. So as long as we're behind somebody, I don't really care who it is. Okay, we are behind Alonzo. Not a bad driver to be behind. Although we do have Verstappen behind us. Which will probably slow him down a little bit. Uh, okay, green sectors, boys. Green sectors. Come on, green sectors. All right, good, good. That's what I want to see. Some more green sectors. Green sectors, good, 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 good. Where are we? Where are we? Pretty much where we were before. P5 and P9. Okay, so P5 and P9 is where we're at. Not bad, not bad. I gotta definitely take a look at the car analysis after this to see what the underfloor did to the car. And then I gotta um, add the new rear wing onto our... Um, parts development as well okay so it's gonna be dry and it looks like medium hard mediums or just mediums to hards hmm I'm saying the one stop will be faster let's go one stop for now and then we will um, make our decisions based on where everybody else stops Uh, Joe might be better off doing um, hard, medium, soft, or medium, hard, soft, or something like that. Still says the still says the one stop is faster. Okay, we'll do that then. We'll add a little bit of fuel as well. Actually, no, you know what? If we're going to be conserving our tires, we can't be pushing on fuel. Ah, to hell with it. Alright, let's go, boys. Let's try to repeat our Canadian Grand Prix it's finish. It's always overcast in England. High. Surprise, surprise. Everybody's on the mediums. So we should be on the same... Alright, so we should be on the same tire schedule here. I'm not going to push on tires, but we are going to push on fuel. I don't know. Do we think Bottas will be able to overtake Hamilton and then stay in front of Hamilton?
The Red Bulls are just so dominant at this point. All right, so we just got out in front of jo um, Russell, and we're about to overtake Signs here as well. Can we overtake Signs? Yes, we can. Holy cow. All right, let's save the battery. Bontas, I don't think he's making any progress on those guys. We're going to save the battery. Okay. We're in a good position right now. Let's go into 8X right away. P5 and P7. Not exactly pulling away from signs. DRS, enabled, DRS. DRS is enabled. Bata still within DRS of Perez and Hamilton. That's good. And Joe still in DRS of Leclerc, which is also good. Leclerc starting to fall back a bit. That'd be great if he could fall back or fall out of DRS from J uh, Bottas. Then we can just overtake him. Yellow flag, whole bunch of uh, cars Someone dropping back. Piastri in the back, that's fine. Perez really holding up Hamilton now. Alonso and Verstappen fighting for the win. What's what's wrong with Perez? Why is he not doing well? I think we could also be overperforming now because of the new gearbox that we just put in as well. All right, pushing on the um, pushing on the fuel was not helping with our tire situation, but Joe is starting to fall back a little bit. Oop. Something just happened. Russell and Stroll just fell off the train. Here's the replay. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay. Car Less cars behind us to worry about. Still pushing with Joe, although he's really just staying at about eight tenths behind Leclerc right now. Yellow Sector 3. Like a spin. Bontas is starting to fall off the back of Hamilton at this point. All right, let's start pushing with the fuel again. We're in it with the Ferraris right now. We're, we're fighting the Ferraris. Let's see when Verstappen and Alonso pit. They are far enough in the, um, at this point ahead of us that we should be able to respond to any changes that they make or any decisions that they make. Valtteri is dropped off of Vers um, Perez and Hamilton now and Leclerc still not really m able to get by at this point. All right, is Verstappen? Okay, Verstappen's coming in. So he is doing a two-stop. You know what? Let's go and attack on these tires, and we will commit to a two-stop as well. Yep, everybody's committing to a two-stop. Okay, so we got tires and fuel for days at this point. Alright, I think we're going to bring Actually, you know what? We still might be able to just make the um Still might be able to make the hards and mediums to hards work actually. And just do a one stop here. Let's just go on our scheduled
Actually, no, I think we do have to do it now. Yeah, we gotta do it now. Let's push. We will have Bottas come in on this lap, Joe will come in on the next lap, and we will continue pushing. Still managing to stay close to Hamilton and Perez, even with Joe. Actually, let's go medium, medium, softs. Medium, medium, softs instead of medium, hard, softs. Looks like that was a position gained for Alfa Romeo. Okay, Alonso into the pits, signs into the pits. Can Bontas overtake Perez? Very good luck. Let's try it. Nice. Alfa Romeo just moved up a place. I don't think we're going to drop Perez, though. On keep an eye on your battery. No, nope. never mind. We are not. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. Red Bull moved up. Can we get in front of Hamilton? Joe's in front of Hamilton now. Okay. We're going to push on these tires until the end. Uh, Verstappen might be going to the end on those. I think everybody's going to the end on these tires. They might have been doing a one-stop uh, one stop this entire time. Oh, did someone run wide there? Red Bull gained a place. I would love a safety car right about now. I would love a safety car. Please give me a safety car. All right, Joe just got ahead of Bottas. All right, we're going to have to come in again soon. Leclerc's in, Verstappen's in. Let's go mediums for Bottas, or yeah, let's go mediums with Bottas. Actually, you know what? He still can go a little bit longer. Um, I'll go a couple more laps. Um, now we will bring, I think we have to go sauce.
Um, I think we can go softs till the end. 12 laps left to go. Yeah, let's go. Whew, I'm hoping that I'm making the right decisions here. I don't know, though. Signs is on. Oh, mother trucker, Joe. Okay, so Joe just got passed. Joe just got passed by Leclerc. Bottas has 10 laps now to catch up to Magnussen. Go. We're not catching Hamilton. Or S yeah, Bo Bottas has 10 laps to catch up to Sainz. We're not catching Hamilton now. Maybe the one stop was the right way to go. Damn it. Verstappen's got the fastest lap. I don't think we're catching the fastest lap. Did somebody spin out there? Joe's about to catch up to Leclerc. I don't care about the fastest lap. We're not getting money for that anyway. Let's just go ahead and try and catch Leclerc. I think that should give us more points. Six laps to go. Bottas is three now seconds Simon behind. Alonso spun. Okay, come on, Bottas, come on. The signs is right there. Let's go, Joe. Leclerc is right there as well. He's on this, the mediums. Sounds like a spin. Let's go. Let's go. We got plenty of tires to, to do this. We're about to catch up to Leclerc right now. Two laps left to go. Did we do it? Okay, we passed Leclerc. Looks like that was a position gained for Alfa Romeo. Yeah, we're not catching signs, but we should be able to beat Leclerc. And Bottas is now too far back to catch anybody. Where is Joe? Joe is... Is this it? We just need to stay in front. Down here, we still got enough battery. Over the finish line and today's winner. All right. Oof. That's good. P5 and a P7. I will take that. No double podium, but it's still better than where we um, qualified. Or at least Joe, anyway. Um, I think Valtteri did qualify P5. <sighs> Shoot. I think the one stop was the way to go. So Joe up two positions. I'm jumping Leclerc and Russell. Um, and Valtteri managing to finish where he started. Perez, P2, Hamilton, P1, Fernando Alonso, P1, down one. You know what, though? I really don't know if that would have, if a one stop really would have mattered there. Yeah, maybe because Sainz only did one stop and he finished one position up. Norris only had one stop. He finished two positions up. DeVries. Alex only did one stop, finished two positions up. Maybe the one stop would have been the faster decision there. But we still had a pretty decent finish anyway. P5, P7. I'll take it any day of the week. Um, still P4 with Valentry Bontas. Although Hamilton is definitely gaining on us. And Joe Guan Yu still in P2. 10 and he's gaining on Lance Stroll. Constructor standings were still P4. Coming home with 16 points, four points ahead of, uh, four points more than Ferrari and one point less than Mercedes. So uh, I think overall, pretty decent race there. 367 experience points for Valtteri, 1,185 for Joe Guan Yu, and Teo Porcher with his typical 855, although he does get a development point. Bring home $4 million today as we hit all of our performance incentive bonuses. 
and performance guarantees. So not a bad race for us, boys and girls. Underfloor finish. We, we put it on before the race anyway. All right. Um, I think before I forget, I'm going to go and just develop that new rear wing. All right. So we got the front wing 38 days, rear wing in 40 days. I'm going to go and add on these new and um, these engineers that we just gained from the underfloor finishing. Um, and we will leave it at that so 33 days and 40 days and hopefully the car will be in a better condition then are we going to be in the summer break by then french grand prix hungarian grand prix nope we will get them in time for the belgian oh wait yeah okay so it will it will come back during the summer break um, we will have it in time, and then the next ATR period will be the weekend of the Dutch Grand Prix to start a new one. So we should get this um, by then. All right, we will leave it at that, boys and girls. Currently P4 in the team standings and P4 and P10 in the driver standings. If you enjoyed it and you think I've earned it, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Remember to eat your bok choy. Wow, it's really dark here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.